Hello, it's Wintering Goose here, aka The Goose. Gonna play Ultima 1. Picking up from a Calabeth the other day. In some ways, this is just a, uh, a an enhanced remake of a Calabeth that uses basically the entire dungeon routine as a sub portion of the game but in some ways it also could be a sequel so that's some weirdness of the story they weren't thinking too hard about it when they made it it wasn't a series yet <laughs> so first thing I want to do is let's look at some of the story here Manuals for old games like this used to have so much extra information in them and so much backstory and lore and uh, Ultima was Probably one of the best known for this starting with the second game in the series They included like physical objects inside of the boxes like uh, Ultima 2 came with gold coins or silver coins or whatever like for to get you into the story. But Ultima 1, we had the manual. And it told us, Hail, noble one. Our land is in need of a stalwart hero, one who will brave perils horrific to consider. A plague has befallen the realm. A scourge is upon the land. Our villages lie sacked, ruinous mounds of ash where once trod peasants stout of heart and sound of mind, where once lay fields of grain and fruit, where kine and fowl grew fat upon the bounties of our fair Sosaria. All manner of wicked and vile creatures prey upon our people and ravage the land. Tis the doing of one so evil that the very earth trembles at the mention of his name. And it goes on and on and on. That's just the first paragraph of uh, several. It goes on to describe how Mundane, the evil wizard, who we met in Akalabeth, actually, uh, on second thought, we did not meet in Akalabeth. Um, but in that game, he was causing strife by making monsters attack all over the place and whatever. Lord British sent us off to become a knight. Apparently, so that we could return and finish the quest here. In our current story, Mundane has slain his father, the king of the Western Lands, or whatever they were called, I forget, and has been uh, reigning for a thousand years with his gem of immortality, causing the kings and rulers of the other lands to bicker amongst themselves instead of solving any problems. But Mr. British, a.k.a. Lord British, has called upon a mystical stranger to come and uh, set things right. And that stranger, for today at least, is me. So let's get to it. Uh, first, we have to start the game. We'll tell it we have two... Oops, I am on the wrong window. Yeah, there we go. One second while I find my place back in this text file. <laughs> there. Okay. I'll tell it we have two disk drives. And we will generate a new character. Insert a new player disk drive too. I already have it there we should be good enter ah here we go okay uh, character generation points left to distribute what we want to do is just have a lot of points um let's see 90 divided by 6 is 15 that's a pretty good spread across everything hmm. shall we just put 15 on everything Let's see, what precisely was the... Uh, <laughs> Aha. So what do these stats do? Let's look up a thing real quick. Uh, agility or strength is damage you deal. Agility increases accuracy of your attacks. 
and I think is your chance to hit as well. Stamina allows you to drink more in a tavern. Not super useful. Uh, charisma increases selling value to shops. Wisdom makes spells succeed more and decreases price of spells. So wisdom will be good to have. And intelligence increases magic damage and decreases buying prices for everything other than spells. So wisdom and intelligence seem like they'll be really good. Agility also. But if we play our cards right, we can increase stats fairly quickly in the beginning. So <laughs> let's start with 15 strength. I keep typing in the wrong window. Okay, 15 strength. Let's go with 15 agility. We don't really care about stamina. Can we put 5 on it? No. I think 10 is our minimum. Um, that leaves us 50 for the rest. Charisma. Blue. 15 here. We'll do 20 actually, and then we can put 15 on the other two. And I don't know, a uh, race. Uh, I think humans get extra strength and maybe intelligence. Let me check on that. Oh, hey, Becky. All right. Do, 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 do. What was I looking at? <laughs> Oh, okay. Human is, is intelligence plus five, so we kind of want that. We'll just go human. And then type. That's our class. What's the spread there? Why am I pulling up this window? I have another one right here with everything on it. Okay, our fighter gets plus 10 strength and plus 10 agility. Uh, wizard gets more spells and more intelligence. Cleric. A cleric is guaranteed to have spells work, and that's a, an advantage that we can take with us. Um, on the other hand, a thief is good at stealing and unlocking, and that's something we'll also need. That's plus agility. I'm torn between the cleric and the thief, to be honest. The wizard gets ex the, sorry, the fighter gets extra stats, like an extra ten points total, but doesn't have any other advantage. Let's go with a thief. Why not? I don't usually pick that. Click thief. There we go. And what's my name? My name is Goose. Of course. Press enter. And is that satisfactory? Yeah, sure. Do not interrupt writing data to disk. All right. So now our player is created. And we can continue from the start. <laughs> Here we go. Ultima, the complete fantasy role-playing game for the Apple II computer. Woohoo! And here we are. Uh, yes, actually, my mama gave me the name Goose. Lag time. In case I want to talk, we want to have some lag time. <laughs> um, Oh yeah, these the graphics are great. Um, where am I? There, right. I mean, as far as colors go, this is actually better than some of the other versions of this game. <laughs> All right. So this, checking my map. I don't need to check the map because I know what it is. But this is the castle of Lord British to our right, and below is the town of Britain, which is going to be our first destination. Um, there's a lot of keyboard commands, so I want to have that reference card up. 
Uh, enter, I think, is E. Yes, boink. Entering the city of Britain. And this is a town. Oops. Man, I need to get back. There we go. <sighs> Where am I want to go first? Yes, trans. Uh, let's actually go look at that. I forget what it stands for. <laughs> Oops. I think like transportation, probably. Maybe they sell horses. Uh huh. Transact. Bye. Uh, super duper new and used transport incorporated. Okay. Ah. So we can buy a horse or a cart, a raft or a frigate. Don't have the gold for anything besides a horse right now, which is sad because I'd like to put the cart before the horse. Huh? All right. <laughs> okay, let's head to the armor store. Not armor, um, arms. We want to buy a weapon. Actually, let's see what we have stats. Uh, we have two daggers and one leather armor. Naughty Nomans, weapons unlimited. Mace or a rope and spikes. Now the uh, stats in the game, the strength determines which weapons you can equip. No, armor, sorry. Strength is for armor. And your agility determines which weapons you're able to use. So let's try that again. And I'll go ahead and buy a mace. Can I press M for that? M, what's that? Um, oh, right. I got this other book here. Oh, wrong book. The handy thing about uh, me buying this for DOS like 20 years ago is that it came with a book that has all sorts of things in it that would be hard to know otherwise. Um, Transact by mace corresponds to the C key. C, what's that? Wait, no, do I have to? Was that for uh, DOS only? Maybe I'd have to type out mace. Really? Invalid move. Um, I was not expecting to have so much trouble running a shop. <laughs> Try mace. Oh, okay, type the... F There's an anti-magic shell around the town. Oh, because I tried to... It, it parsed my C as a cast attempt. Okay. All right. So. Okay, so in order to buy things, I have to type the first two letters. That's good to know. But I have a mace now. So how do I equip ready? Ready weapon. Which weapon? A mace. There we go. Unless ready armor too. I do not know if I am wearing it. Type leather. Oh, okay. So a single letter is good for armor. Not steel. That was lucky. 
I would hate to get caught stealing by accident. I want Z for stats. So conveniently, the game does not tell you which things you have readied and equipped. That's all right. Okay, so we bought a mace. Let's go ahead and see what's available for armor. Transact buy, sell, the armor shop of Lord Eldrick de Charbonneau. Oh, we don't have enough money for any of those. Nope, nope. And I would check out the magic shop, but I want to steer clear of Yolo the Bard. He's notoriously sticky fingers. And I don't want to lose anything <laughs> at this stage. Transact by Little Karelia's Finnish Grocery. Finland exists in game, huh? How many packs of food? Ten days each. They cost four. Um, how about ten? Can I type ten? Nope. Experience one. How did I get one experience point? All right. Get back on here and go down, 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 down. Exit. I can't walk on water. I wasn't trying to, was I? All right, into the castle of Lord British. We are, by the way, in a camp cant known as the lands of Lord British, which is sounds accurate. A heavily guarded area. If I'm feeling lucky, I can go to the armory, the food stores, or the arms storage, and try to steal something, but then if I succeed, all of the guards will be after me immediately, and that's no good. I don't like that the gesture is right there. Guino the gesture sings, I've got the key! Save that information in your minds, viewers. That could be important later. All right, let's talk to the king. Transact with king. Do I offer gold or service? I offer service. Good. Go and find the Tower of Knowledge. Do not return until thy quest is done. Okay. This is slow, but if I unlock uh, if I unlock CPU speed, <laughs> then the bard that gesture will be everywhere, and I don't know if he steals anything. I'm not particularly keen on finding out. I'm just starting out. I don't want to lose all my stuff yet, so I'll just hang out right here for a moment. And. Okay, the Tower of Knowledge is on an island in the north, uh, north uh, east. Looks like all of the uh, landmark quests are going to be on islands, so I'm going to have to find a ship for that. In the meantime, let's head out. And up, and up, and up. And there's another castle already. This here is a town. I'll use the I key and 
we have found the city of Paws, but we're not too interested in Paws. We want to go on around to the castle. Oh, I'm being attacked by a necromancer. Attack. It's going a little bit slower than I'd like. <laughs> We're losing hit points. This is terrible. Oh no. Ooh, hit damage 17. That's nice. When is it going to die? Oh, all right. Killed! Gold plus 41. And we got 40 experience as well. Pretty neat. Oh! I keep expecting to walk and I don't notice when monsters pop up. Damage 4. Fourteen, that's a good one. It's a little bit annoying that the uh, game doesn't tell us how hard we were hit. I guess if I keep track of my numbers, I can tell, but it would be nice to see it on the, on the text. Mess! Oh, we don't want to miss. Okay, got some more gold. Let's get on. And enter the Castle of the Lost King. Please don't steal anything from me, Jester. <laughs> All right, do I offer service or gold? First, offer service. Good! Go now and kill a gelatinous cube. Do not return until thy quest is done. And now this time let's offer gold. How much would we like to give them? Amount divided by 10. Let's give him 40. And in return, we get 36 hit points back. Not a bad trade, I guess. So now that we have a little extra gold, I'm going to try to get back to Paws and buy a chain mail. The most difficult part of the game is the beginning, getting yourself set up so that you're not going to die every five minutes. Because who likes to die every five minutes? Not the goose, that's for sure. Nice, we made it without any encounters. So let's buy Armor Shop of Lord Eldrick de Charbonneau. Interesting that it's the same shop as the other town. <laughs> All right, let's buy a chain. 
Sold. And let's ready armor. Ready the chain. And let's try to sell something. Let's transact sell. What do I have? I have leather armor. You'll give me 18? That doesn't sound bad, does it? Okay, yes. And let's sell the two daggers we have. Transact, sell. Do I have? Um, nope, gotta go to the armor store. The arms store for that. Mm -hmm. Transact, sell. What do I have? A dagger. What you got, pal? Dagger. I'll give you two. Why not? Transact and sell. What you got? I got another dagger. I'll take another two gold for it. And then, why don't we spend the rest on food? There we go. And before we exit town, I'm going to try to save. Saving not allowed in town. So let's try it right here. Save game. One moment for house cleaning. Now saving game. Done. All right. So where to next? We need to kill a gelatinous cube and find the Tower of Knowledge for quests. Huh. I just realized I've had the uh, sound muted for quite a while now. <laughs> I bet that's been a little bit boring, just watching this with no sound. Anyway... Uh, we are currently equipped with a mace and chainmail. We got a quest from Lord British to find the Tower of Knowledge. Quest from the Lost King to kill a gelatinous cube. Oh yeah, the game doesn't have any, just a little bit beeps and boops. Um, were you able to hear me on the mic? Like for the past, say, I don't know. Oh, you could, huh? Hmm. So you can hear me now? All right. So in order to complete anything else, we're going to need transportation over the water. So... The nearest dungeon is up a ways to the right. All right. Oh, goodness. There. Oh wait, is that it right there? I thought I'd have to go further. The printed map looked like it was on the other side of the mountains. Let's inspect. The Dungeon of Montor. Alright, works for me. Let's enter.
Oh, a skeleton already. <laughs> Skeleton killed. Yay! Woohoo! Wow, this draw subroutine is so slow. And it's going to keep redoing it? That sucks. Maybe a lag time of zero is better? Or is that going to be faster? doesn't seem to really do much. All right, in any case, we got a ladder here. Walls on our right and left. Let's take a step forward. Oh no, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, this is very, very bad. <laughs> oh, skeleton behind us. Turn around and hit the skeleton. <sighs> At least monsters in here seem pretty uh, tame. Maybe I'll be able to w fight my way back out. Is that a dead end? One, two, three. All right. 37 hit points already. Ooh, treasure. Um, let's try to unlock the chest. Yay. A door here and a door here. Oh, yay, a bat. Yay! Sadly, any mapping that I'm doing, if I die, is probably going to be useless. 
because then in the original Ultima there's a bug. Probably not a feature. Or it may be a feature. Who knows? But um, dungeons are randomly generated every time you enter and are never the same. So let's turn to the right. Another bat. And we are not going to make it out of here. There's no way. <laughs> no way I'll find my way back up and still survive. Goose, you are dead. Attempting resurrection. Hey! Well, that's nice. Lost all our gold, though. Every last bit. Then again, we only went in with, like, three anyway, right? So that's all right. Lost a bunch of food. All right. Huh. You know, this actually looks the same as... Well, that's helpful if it is the same. Because I was certainly expecting it to be different. Where is my other paper? Wait, was I attacked by a bat? Turn around. Where's the bat? There. Wait, what? Wait, hands? How did we lose the mace? Might be worth it to just reboot from the point we saved. Let's try that. <clears throat> It's the same. Maybe it's only... I don't know. I definitely read that... Uh, read that dungeons were random. So I was expecting to have a hard time with mapping them. Okay, so that's a secret passage to the right of the ladder. Uh, this is open space, this is a door. Attacked by thief. Another room with another door. I'll have to turn around to take care of that thief. The whole real-time aspect is, where's the thief? Oh, there he is. Okay. Is 
this whole real-time aspect is making it very difficult to draw maps. Now there's a rat on me too, great. <laughs> At least the rat and the thief are missing me too. I don't like this getting double teamed. I'm going to run back this way toward the ladder. And we'll turn around in this passage to fight the rat. Not a bad hit. I say before I miss twice in a row. Come on. There we go. Now let's get out of here. <laughs> We got 26 gold, it's better than nothing. Uh, climb. Must face ladder. Alright, let's see if we can kill the ranger first. Since he's here. Ranger killed, yay! All right, now we can climb out after it's done redrawing. Gain 60 HP. So that's better than what we went in with, right? I think we had 98, 91 going in. We've certainly got more gold. All right, so we'll save again. And enter. I'm afraid this is going to be one of my less interesting <laughs> streams. Ah, oh, missed. Attacked by giant rat. My gosh. From what I'm reading here, I need to make it down to the third floor in order to, um, what's the word? In order to find a gelatinous cube. There we go, that got a hit. Rat kill him, yay! Oh, 
All right, turn left through the invisible door because we don't want to jump into a trap and have no way out. Forward and forward again. Is there something behind me? Where's the thief? I guess we found another hidden door somewhere. There it is. Attack. Stop missing. Thief killed. Very good. So that's a door there. More wall. And a bat shows up. Where's the bat? Is it behind? No. Is it through the door? Attack, attack, attack. Boom, 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 boom. Missed. <laughs> I don't want to miss. I want to hit the bat. There we go. 18 experience and 15 gold. Well, we made a little bit more progress. <laughs> Barely. And a rat. Let's kick it. The more we kill before we leave, the more hit points we'll get on the way out. Just as long as we don't get hurt more than what we get. Hit! Damage 4! Oh no! Damage 5! Stop missing! Seventeen gold. All right. Let's climb out before anything else shows up. Gain seventy-six HP. Head to town and buy some supplies. 
Enter. Looks like we're doing okay on food now. If we fall below 100, I'll start to worry. By, by what? This has a different inventory than the other one. Let's take an axe, though. I'm not sure we have the agility for a sword. Actually, let me check the stats first. Agility. Maybe we do have enough for a sword. Let me try. I can certainly buy both. Sword. Sold. Let's try to ready the sword. Weapon. Okay. Hey, that should help a lot then. Let me just check out the transportation shop again. Super duper new and used. A horse and a cart. I don't remember what the horse is good for. If it's good for anything at all. I'll come down here. I'll sell the mace. For three? Eh. Better than nothing. And we'll go around to the king. Buy a bunch of hit points. Oh, evil ranger. We're doing not too bad damage, though. And the ranger misses. And so do we. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Die already! It's not dying! Nineteen and it still didn't die. Monsters outside are so much more problem than monsters in the dungeons. There we go. Now we have to crawl all the way across this castle to get to the king. Stay away from me, Jester. Hey. Nope, stay away. Do I offer gold? Yes. How much do I offer? How much do I have? You know, how much gold do I need? Let's give him 50. Okay, that's not too bad. 
All right, let's go back in. See if we can make a little bit more progress this time. Missed. Oh my gosh. Missed again. It's like a song by Phil Collins, I missed again. Two more times. I'm going to turn right and we'll go through the secret door and continue exploring. All right. It's a pretty easy configuration to draw quickly. And I'll just go straight forward. And we have the same again. Grand. All right, I'll just go forward again. Attacked by bat, oh no. Okay, there's a door to the right, passage to the left. Where's the bat now? Not there. Missed. Bat with sword. <laughs> what if I could attack the bat with a bat? But alas, no baseball bats in this game. Bat killed. All right. Now I'll try to orient myself again before I get lost or get attacked again. Turn right. Landmark on the floor. A door. And a door. Right. Yes. All right, let's go forward here. And I'll turn right and go forward here. Easy. Okay. Let's turn and see how far we can see down here. Ooh, treasure. I'm pausing right now before that gets closer. <laughs> uh, okay.
Another trap. Great. Alright, I'm pausing right there. Trying to align my maps so that I have a chance to find my way back out. We definitely want to have a chance of finding the way out, don't we? Yes, of course we do! Um, there we go. So I have a wall on my right. Forward and my left. Ooh, I found a bat. Hooray! Oh, come on. This bat's gonna kill me. Nasty, bad, evil bat. Seventeen! Good grief! Okay, there's a door. There's another door. And a wall. And a wall there. Turn left. Oh. Well, that sucked. Tried to walk into a skeleton and lost a turn. Found the ladder back up to level one. Good stuff. Uh, so there's nothing there. I, I wish this thing would stop doing that. Let me turn to the right here. door. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I don't have time to map this. I gotta get out. if I try to draw what I see, I'm just going to keep getting attacked. One, two, three. Where's the skeleton? Oh goodness, is a thief too? Let's 
currently facing south too. So gotta keep track of that. Oh come on. Door here, door here, wall. If I make it out of here, it's going to be so close. But I think I have my way out. Oh, let's just get going. Take another step forward and another step forward. I should see a landmark right in front of me. Yes, okay. I know the way out. If only I can get there before I die. Skeleton, that better not be in front of me. Skeleton killed, let's get going. This is gonna be a nail biter. Ah, bat. No, we're not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. Lost all the gold. I think I think it's time to reboot again. <laughs> See if I can find a shorter way to the exit this time. And two. Hey, a rat. All right, I'm going to try turning to the north and... Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> Thief killed, yay! Okay, now I'm going to try turning to the north. See if I can walk through this. I can. Which means a door on my left. So then this right here will be the ladder down, yep. Oh, hey, what's that? I didn't, I didn't see that before. That's a force field. It looks like doors on either side there. Beep, <laughs> beep, 
gosh. Missed again. Giant rat killed, yay! <laughs> Okay, where am I? I want to go forward and forward. And I'm just filling out the rest of the map here because you never know when you'll need to have a full map, I guess. Where's the thief, then? <laughs> Behind? There you are! door in front of me. What's to the right? Oh, wait. Okay, so this should be a one by one room with a door in front. Yep. And then one step ahead of me will be the trap to fall down. So we will go around. One hit! Nice! Turn left. Alright, I'm going to turn right here and head rats. <laughs> Forward, forward. 
do do. And turning to the right. Okay, that matches what I have on the map. That's floor one mapped out as as well as I can manage. Must be the ranger behind me, huh? I meant behind us in the direction I came. I didn't think he was literally behind me. And turn around and there should be a bat right there. Where'd the bat go? Well, if he's not going to chase me, that's fine. Just head out and save again before anything else happens. And climb out. Gained 150 HP. Well, that's nice. Definitely saving after that. Okay, so exciting as that was. I think I'm going to end the stream there because nothing else is, mu is going to happen much until I get more money and the only way to get more money is to keep tiptoeing around in the dungeon until I manage to find some stronger creatures. So I'll do that on my own and maybe do another stream of this another time do something a little more exciting in between. Maybe I'll throw in an NES game or or something else over the weekend. But yeah, I haven't played this game in over a decade, and I've had the itch to get back into the series lately, so I will be doing more of this. Fun! <laughs> so, this is Goose signing off. I'll see you later, and thank you for watching.